Cineguac. What's going on? Welcome to Cineguac. Today I'm going to show you how to do a super cool write on effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is super good if you're doing like travel videos or something. So let's get started. So here we are in Premiere. The first thing you want to do is drag the video clip that you want beneath your text to the timeline. I'm just using a piece of stock footage which I purchased from Pond5, but you can use any video clip in the world that you want. You could even have white text over a black background if you want. And let's just adjust this so that it lasts for however long we want. Maybe around eight seconds is a good length of time. And let's just zoom in so that we have a better idea of what we're doing. All right. So once you have your video clip on the timeline, let's go to our type tool, or you can just hit T on the keyboard. And let's go to our preview monitor and type in whatever we want to write. Travel. Now, as you can see here, I am using a font called Brushwell, which I downloaded for free from Defont, but you can use any font that you want. I picked this one because it kind of looks like it's hand drawn. So it kind of matches the uh, style of the effect we're doing today. And let's just enlarge this so that it looks about the size that we want. Let's go to our graphics workspace and go to edit. And then let's just auto align this to the X and Y axis so that it's perfectly centered in frame. Now let's go back to our editing workspace and let's drag the text layer so that it lasts for the exact same duration as our video layer beneath it. So now, as you can see, we basically have the title looking the way that we want it to once the effect is complete. And this is where the magic happens. First thing you want to do is go to your project window and create a new transparent video layer. Hit OK. And drag that transparent video layer right above your text layer. And let's just stretch this out so that it's exactly the same duration as the text layer and the video layer beneath it. And then let's go to our effects library and search for the effect right on. Should be in video effects, generate subfolder, and drag the right on effect to the transparent video layer. Then with the transparent video layer selected, let's go to our effects control window and let's drag this to the very first frame. Then what we wanna do is increase the brush size Let's increase this to say 50. And the moment we do that, you'll see right here in the center, there's this little dot. And you want that dot to be about the same thickness as the brush strokes in your text. And let's go to brush spacing and adjust that to 0 0.001. And on stroke length, let's start with eight seconds. You can always change these later. The uh, stroke length is basically how long the text stays on screen after it's completely visible. So we can start with eight seconds. And with our playhead at the very first frame, let's set a keyframe for brush position. And let's drag this to the very top of our first letter. So now this is where it gets a little bit tedious. It's very easy, it just takes a long time. What you wanna do is figure out how, if you were writing this by hand, what path you would write it in. So for example, when I write the letter T, I begin at the very top and draw a line straight down. So what you wanna do is start by setting a keyframe for the brush position, starting here at the top of the T in the very beginning, then move this down a little bit, which will automatically set the next keyframe. Go to your next frame and move this down again. Make sure you don't grab these little pieces here. You can do that after the fact if you want to micro adjust it, but I usually like to just grab this main button right here. Let's go to our next frame, drag that along, next frame, and just repeat this over and over until you complete the entire word. And again, what you want to do is just sort of go the exact same route that you would if you were writing this by hand. And the route that you take is the route that it will appear when it writes on. Now, just a little side note, it's very important that especially when you move the brush position from one letter to the next, you don't accidentally overlap any areas of the next letter because it'll appear prematurely and it'll just look ugly and weird. So make sure you're very meticulous about the brush position so that it follows a smooth path the exact same way you would write this with a pen if you were doing it by hand. 
And I'll just speed this up because this is going to take a long time. All right, and once we are done tracking the route that we want to take with our right on brushstroke tool, next thing we want to do is go back to our effects window and search for track matte key. You'll find that in video effects keying track matte key. And you want to drag that to your travel title. And with your travel title selected, go to your effects control window and where it says track matte key matte, go to this little drop down menu right here and select video three. And when you drag this to the beginning and play it through, you'll see your text writes on perfectly. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video somewhat helpful or even enjoyable. I spend a lot of time putting these videos together, so you know, show me some love and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.